Today we will learn fineness of cement. Aim of the experiment to determine the fineness of cement sample by sieving through a 90 micron IS sieve or the aim is to determine the fineness or surface area per gram of cement by plain air permeability method. First, using 90 micron sieve theory and scope the degree of fineness of cement is a measure of the mean size of the grains in cement. The rate of hydration and hydrolysis and consequent development of strength in cement mortar depends upon the fineness of cement. The finer cement has quicker action with water and gains early strength through its ultimate strength remains unaffected. However, the shrinkage and cracking of cement will increase with the fineness of cement. Apparatus required 90 micron IS sieve conforming to IS 460 part 1, pan, weighing balance, sensitive to 0.1 gram. Materials required cement free from any air lump. Procedure Take 500 gram of cement W1 in a plate and weigh accurately and transfer it to a clean dry IS test sieve by breaking down of any air set lumps. Second, then sieve the cement with gentle wrist motion until most of the fine material passed through and the residue looked fairly clean. Take the weight of the residue as W2. Figure shows 90 micron IS sieve. Observations and calculation. Mass of cement taken on IS sieve is equal to 500 gram. Mass of residue after sieving is equal to Fineness is equal to mass of residue in grams divided by mass of cement taken on IS sieve percent is equal to W2 divided by W1 into 100. Result residue of cement in percent. Conclusion The cement is suitable for use in construction as the fineness of cement is less than 10%. Precautions First, any air set lump in the sample should be broken down with fingers but it should not be rubbed on the sieve. Second, the sieve must be cleaned truly before starting the experiment. Third, the care should be taken to ensure that no cement is spilled. After sieving, all residue must be taken out carefully and weighed. Now come to the second method of determining the fineness of cement using air permeability apparatus. Theory and scope. Fineness of cement is also determined by air permeability method. For example, in this method, a known volume of air is passed through the cement. The time is recorded and the specific surface is calculated by formula. Fineness is expressed in terms of a specific surface of cement mm square per gram. For ordinary Portland cement, all grades specific surface is 2 to 5 triple zero mm square per gram. The fineness of cement is measured as a specific surface. Finer cement offers a great surface area for hydration and hence faster the development of strength. A specific surface is expressed as the total surface area in square meters of all the cement particles in 1 kilogram of cement. The higher the specific surface is, the finer cement will be. Principle of air permeability method is in absorbing the time taken for fixed quantity of air to flow through compacted cement bed of a specified dimension and porosity. Under standardized condition, the specific surface of the cement is proportional to t to the power 0.5, where t is the time for given quantity of air to flow through compacted cement bed. The number and size range of individual pores in the specified bed are determined by the cement particle size distribution which also determine the time for the specified air flow. Figure 2 shows graph of compressive strength versus specific surface of cement. A specific surface S is expressed as S is equal to where E is equal to porosity. Rho is equal to density of the cement, Rho naught is equal to density of the standard cement, Nita naught is equal to air viscosity at the mean of the three temperature for standard cement, Nita is equal to air viscosity at the test temperature, T is equal to measure time for the cement under test, T naught is equal to mean of three times measured on standard cement. A small e naught is equal to porosity of the cement bed. A small e is equal to porosity of reference cement bed. 
apparatus required plain air permeability conforming to IS5516 weighing balance timer Procedure First, place the perforated disc on the lens at the bottom of the cell and place on it a new filtered paper disc. Place the weight quantity of standard cement W in the cell, taking care to avoid loss. Place a second new filter paper disc on the leveled cement. Insert the plunger and press it gently but the lower face of the cap is in contact with the cell. Slowly withdraw the plunger, rotate it through 90 degree and press once again. The bed is now compacted and ready for permeability test. Second, the test is performed on the blend apparatus. It is practically manometer in the YouTube form. One arm of the manometer is provided at the top with conical socket to form an airtight fit with the conical surface of the cell. Third, the same arm has 4 inch lines M1 to M4 and T joint which lead to an airtight T-stop cock beyond which is attached aspiration rubber pulp. Fourth, manometer is filled to level of the lowest inch lines with non-volatile non-hygroscopic liquid of low viscosity and density. Fifth, insert the conical surface of the cell into the socket at the top of the manometer. Sixth, open the stopcock and with gentle aspiration raise the level of the manometer liquid to that of the highest each line. Close the stopcock and the manometer liquid will begin to flow. Start the timer as the liquid reaches the second each line and stop it when the liquid reaches the third each line. Record the time small t and the temperature capital T. Seventh, the procedure repeats three times. Eight. Calculate three values of the specific surface and mean of them. Figure 3 shows Blaine Air Permeability Apparatus. Precautions First, take care to avoid loss when placing the weight quantity of cement. Second, take care when compact the cement by the plunger. Third, Carefully note down the reading.